just about set for action in San Antonio, and we take you out for a live look in at the Roadrunners, who are hoping to be field burners and speed by their visitors and score an important home victory. It ought to be a great one tonight, and we're glad you're with us. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready to call ESPN's College Football. The Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas, the largest football stadium in the Western Athletic Conference. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler in the booth, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is reporting from the sidelines. Tonight's matchup is presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We'll be seeing the Syracuse Orange and the Roadrunners. short of a big win would probably be considered a disappointment. Sometimes, though, when you have a real mismatch, you get the favorite play a little bit lazy or the underdog having the game of their lives. I'm curious to see how this one will shake out. It's time for the coin toss presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. UTS 8 is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Gathered in at the 6, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. That misdirection play gets maybe a yard at the most. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. The crowd is deafening. Option, and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. it out to maybe the 43 yard line and out comes the offense gets it off as he's hit complete and down he goes at the 49 yard line I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Bring him down at the 48-yard line. Gain of one yard. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete off his hands. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They go with the run. He makes his way to about the 38. B 
big play and on fourth down to boot. The entire offense looked in sync on that play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they'll run him again. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Play action. He's going to air it long. Got a man open. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Brad, that is a big time play. I would not be shocked at all to see this on SportsCenter's top 10 plays later tonight. UTSA up six. And he adds the extra point. So a six-play, 49-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread. And people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football. I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its heels. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gives it up the gut. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Brought down at the 39. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Everybody standing here on a huge third down and short. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 30. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 34. UTSA is up by a touchdown. They'll drop him for a loss. With the tackle. Loss of one on the play. Third down. From their own 33-yard line. It's third down. He's taken down at the 41. Well, this guy really showed some giddy up getting down the field for a big game. From their own 41 yard line. First down. What? 
option here. Tackle at the 38-yard line. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it. So at the end of one quarter, the Roadrunners lead 7-0. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. And so it's another third down upcoming here. UTSA is up seven. Tackled after a decent pickup. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas from offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Option to the right. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33. This is the eighth play of the drive. Fires incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. From the 33-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings up third and Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Back to pass. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. First and ten. Ball on the 14. UTSA is up a score. Nice run, and he's brought down. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. And he's level at the 13. If you don't get the blocking on the outside, the toss play is going to fail 99% of the time. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. back to pass and he's immediately tackled he made the catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down it's fourth down they're gonna go for the easy three here UTSA can make this a two possession game with this field goal and it's through the uprights The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. 
They'll set up shop at the 31 yard line. Hand off to the left. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 44. And he is drilled at the 41-yard line. Boy, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time they brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. He drops back. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. The intensity of this place is increasing. He drops back. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. At the 23. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Zips it to the back. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Drops back to pass. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Scrambling around, and now the ball is loose. Tackled for a loss. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. On the run. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. On the ground, up the middle. Here he goes. Number 14. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And they'll go with a no huddle. That brings up second and goal. Looking to throw. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. The tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big-time threat inside the 10-yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. 
A short two-play, 22-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He just drills this one. He's to the 10. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They'll start at the 22-yard line. UTSA holds a field goal lead. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. The Roadrunners with a three-point lead. Let's find out if these defenses can match what they did in the first half. Points are at a premium right now in this one. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 41. Let's toss it down to Aaron Andrews for an update from the sidelines. Well, both coaches promised to show a little more of their playbook here in the second half, Brad. They noted that they missed some plays and they could do a better job overall, but told their guys to just stay focused and all the pieces will come together. Both coaches were pleased with the execution in the first half as neither team turned the ball over. Guys? They'll be looking to get in the end zone for only the second time. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Inside handoff. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on their own 42. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. UTSA is up by three. Looks to pass. Pass right, running back's got it. And he hits him hard at the 48. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. First and ten. Ball on the 48. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. They'll go to work at the 38. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 40. What? 
gains his way to the 49-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fellas, the crowd is just going ballistic in support of their defense right here on third and short. Here's the halfback. Gets out to around the 32. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And they'll run him again. Makes it to the 17. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. They'll go with the run once again. Big play, and it's first and goal. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. And this play is number eight on the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Here's the tailback, touchdown. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And the good news for this offense is they took the lead back. But the bad news is that the other offense is more than capable of putting points up on the board as well. Syracuse is up a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 14, deep to return. He's to the 20. And he just got stood up right there. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. The offense will start at the 14-yard line. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 14. for his tight end over the middle. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From their own 40-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he 
tackles him hard at the 47. About a seven yard pickup that time on the pass. Good decision here, nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Return for gain of eight yards. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Syracuse is up four. There's a play fake. He sails it long. Missed him. Intended that time for the wide receiver. Sometimes the ball just kind of sails on you. I'm sure he wouldn't mind having that one back. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He drops back. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Third and short, and this crowd is alive. Nice play across the middle. He's taken down right around the 50. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. 14-10, Orange. From the 50, first down. Syracuse is up by four. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down at the 41-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete off his hands. They'll line it up again on third down. Third down and short, and the stadium is rocking right now. Tackle at the 40-yard line. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. He drops the throw on first down. He's looking for his man. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Here's the eighth play of the series. Good outside run there. That's a gain of four on the play. 
bring up third and six. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Syracuse holds a four-point lead. And down he goes at the 23. Number 43 on the tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Back to pass. Excellent open field tackle. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. at the five-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. of things they're going to take their first time out second down goal to go four yards out a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter he tackles him for a loss the roadrunners use their second time out and here's the 14th play of the drive gotta be hard for the offense to even hear the play call fires that quickly incomplete It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and it is good. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. At the 40. At the 40. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Roadrunners. What a phenomenal effort. He did a great job of setting up his blocks and then used some great field sense to get into the open. Once that happened, there was no stopping him. Be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. We're just under the two minute mark here, and this couldn't be any closer. The score is tied up at 17. They line up to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. And he's taken down at the 26. 
You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. They'll spread the field with five wide. He passes it. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Slings it. And they push him out at the 33-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 30-yard line, second down. Back to pass. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. They come out in a goal line set. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 13. UTSA will use their final timeout. There's the timeout we were all expecting. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. The kick is up. And they tack on three points. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Brought down by the kicker. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 2017 Roadrunners. Syracuse, 17. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Oh, there's no doubt about it. This was a huge upset, and there's no one to blame but themselves. Syracuse did not play the type of game they're capable of playing, but you have to give credit to the other team. They showed up to play, and they weren't intimidated in the slightest. And for winning today's Player of the Game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. For EA Sports and my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.